when I first started shooting photos at Pipeline, my goal was to be able to give the viewer that first-hand experience of being right there in the water, in the action, feel the energy, and just see the amazing beauty that Pipeline has. I love being in the water, and that's the reason why I don't like to shoot from land. And yes, there's a time and a place and a different look. It's, I've seen spectacular images from land, but my place is in the water. I love being with the energy, having the surfers go by, having your conversation, and just seeing that wave up close and personal. That's where I want to be. Preparing for pipeline, to shoot in the water, to swim out, to this day is still pretty nerve wracking. And I think that's what keeps me going back. You never want to be so comfortable or so just casual that it doesn't make it exciting, it doesn't make it fun, or it doesn't make it, you know, a little bit nervous. And so when I'm watching Pipeline, it's really good. I'll watch it from several different angles. I'll watch what the buoys have been doing. I'll talk to the lifeguards. I'll talk to the surfers getting out. I'll be watching the currents. There's so many factors into it. It's a very dangerous wave. So to be as well prepared as I possibly can, that's my goal every time I go out to Pipeline. pay very close attention to the swell forecast for pipeline. I'm seeing it as it's two weeks out and just monitoring it and seeing what's gonna happen, what's the swell direction, what's changing about it, because I wanna know exactly what's coming in and how to prepare myself best for that. Um, I still get very excited watching a swell on the forecast to develop and to actually come ashore. What attracted me to the North Shore was the power, the beauty, and the waves. It's the mecca of surfing. Growing up in Hawaii, seeing the Pipe Masters, watching Pipeline, I never could have imagined that I'd be swimming in these waves of consequence. And going out there very early was terrifying. You know, with the current, the crowd, the waves, the reef. So to actually be out there is something just so surreal. What attracted me to photography was a love for the ocean. Seeing the ocean, being in the ocean constantly, and seeing the beauty, it was something that I wanted to capture and be able to show the world. It's hard to pinpoint three of my favorite images. If I had to pick a loose three, I would say one of my photos of Mikey Bruno out at Pipeline. And it looks like almost Tahiti. It's a very dark day, um, kind of overcast, but it's thick lip and just his body positioning and everything and the blues in the wave are incredible. My second favorite photo would be Nick Von Rupp, and this was an afternoon that was just incredible out at Pipeline, as good as it gets. Nick got maybe six waves in a row, and he's standing there in the barrel, and the wave's spitting, and he's just a beautiful silhouette in it, and just his body position, the wave, and the deep blue colors in there. Another one of my favorite images would be of Kaivi Berry. He's a local lifeguard there, and he took off on one of the biggest waves I've ever photographed, being so close in the water, and it looks like it's over 12 feet on the first ledge and it's just massive. He's bottom turning in it and the barrel is as big as it gets. 